everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Real Talk. My name is Adam Sheets. I'm alone today. My mom, Brenda, is out on appointments. So I'm going to take you through this episode all by myself. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about the 10 most common questions that I get on a daily basis. Um, if you go to our first episode of Real Talk, we talk about how you get into your first home, right? So if you go back on our YouTube channel, go back on our Facebook page, you'll, you'll see that and you'll probably recognize a lot of the stuff if you watch the first episode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start. I've got 10 questions here that I get on a daily basis and I'm going to just give you quick answers to all of them so you can come to this video, you can watch it and you, you just know exactly what, you, what you're going to expect. Number one, how much home can I afford? As a rule of thumb, you can figure that your mortgage payment is going to be $500 per $100,000 that you finance. So a $100,000 house is a $500 mortgage payment. That doesn't include taxes and insurance or an HOA fee if there is one. A $200,000 house is a $1,000 a month mortgage payment. Doesn't include taxes and insurance or an HOA fee, HOA fee if there is one. Excuse me, my phone is going off. Taxes and insurance you can figure are going to be another $200-ish a month. Your HOA fee in Southwest Florida can range from $80 a month or less to $1,000 a month or more in some very rare cases. Next question, can I buy my home and sell my current home at the same time? You absolutely can. In Florida, a seller isn't going to accept an offer on their house unless your current home is under contract already. So to put an offer on something without having your home under contract isn't a good idea. They're probably not gonna accept it because what's to keep you from, from backing out? There's no guarantee there. There's not a guarantee even if your home is under contract, but at least it's a little bit of a statement that says, okay, we have a timeline at least. Um, next question. How many homes should I look at before making an offer? This obviously varies for everybody. I tend to think that by the 10th home, you probably have an idea of what you're looking for, but I've shown 60 homes to some people and still didn't find what they were looking for. I will show you as many homes as you want to see. Hopefully, by the time you look at them online through our portal system on the MLS, you'll have an idea of really what you want and you can tell with, uh, with, with the pictures um, which ones you really want to look at. So by the time we go out and look at property, you'll have narrowed it down to a certain number. I like to show about six at a time to people, but that six at a time may end up being 60. Um, so it's kind of an open-ended question because there's really no guarantee, but the less, the less homes you look at, the better, or else they start kind of getting clouded and jumbled together. Um, next question, what do you think the seller will accept as, as a fair price? In our market, homes tend to sell within three to seven percent of the list price. So, to think that you're going to get a three hundred thousand dollar house for two hundred thousand dollars probably isn't realistic. And we'll run comps. We'll let you know. Okay, this similar house sold in the neighborhood for this price. So that person isn't going to take thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars less when the same home sold um, within three to seven percent. How do I know if a property is a good deal? Kind of like the last question, we will run comps for you. We'll tell you what's sold in the area and what we think this, this house will sell for. It's not a guarantee because it's not an exact science, but we can probably get a pretty good idea within a few thousand dollars if that's gonna be a good deal. Um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for that question. Next question that I always, always get, how long will it take me to get into my new home? For a VA loan and an FHA loan, you're thinking 45 days. For a conventional loan, you're thinking 30 days. Um, there are obviously hiccups that can happen, but as a rule of thumb, you can figure it. VA, FHA, 45, conventional, 30 days. Next, should I get a home inspection? Not even a question. You should absolutely get a home inspection because you don't want something to pop up two weeks into owning your home and think, wow, I should have got a home inspection because I didn't know that this pipe was burst underneath the house. And once, that's, once it's done, once it's closed, you can't go back to the seller and say, hey, you didn't tell me about that pipe that was burst. You had the option to get a home inspection and it's one of the contingencies in the contract. It'll cost you about $350, $400 and it'll probably be the best $350, $400 that you'll spend when it comes to buying your home. When can I back out is the next question. There are three contingencies in our contracts. One, the inspection. If the inspection goes wrong and you don't like it, you can back out and you get your deposit back. If you can't get financed, you can back out and you get your deposit back. And then lastly, if the home doesn't appraise, you can back out and you can get your deposit back. The only way you can't back out 
is if two days before closing you decide, you know what, I just don't like this house, you're not getting your deposit back. So that's a pretty good rule of thumb. Um, there are a lot of ways that you're protected in the contract and we'll go over them with you throughout the process. But by the time the appraisal happens and you're financed, you probably have an idea if you want the house or not. Um, and I think that's all the questions I got. 10 quick questions, quick answers. So if you need to watch the full video, go back to episode one and you can see everything more in a more detailed sense. This one is more just like a bang, bang. Um, if you need a quick answer, just come to this video and you can pretty much, you can pretty much get it. And as always, if you have any other questions, feel free to call me 239-839-6974. You can tweet at me at Wesley Sheets. You can reach me on Facebook at Adam Sheets, or you can go to the Sheets Team's Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash the Sheets Team. We also run on, we're on Instagram at the Sheets Team. Pretty much everything is at the Sheets Team. Um, my email address is adam at sheetsteam.net. So seriously, if you have any questions, feel free to reach me anytime. Um, that's all I got for you today. Um, just like last week, two Starbucks gift cards. First two people to share this video on hashtag the Sheets Team. They're yours, I'll deliver them to you. It's not much, they're just $5 gift cards, but the more exposure we gain through you, the better. And I will see you next week. Pray for Charlotte.